fresh water is the vital resource for the future of life on Earth. This is the limiting factor for growth, for health, for every aspect of human and ecosystem life uh, going forward. We pay a lot of attention to energy, but we actually as humans lived without energy. There was a point in time, but we have never lived without water. And it's not just humans, it's plants, it's animals, it's the existence of everything. Fresh water is becoming a diminishing resource and therefore it's going to become more and more precious. There's lots of work which goes on on lakes. There's lots of work which goes on on wastewater treatment, but this is for a long while has been regarded as the poor relative of the marine sciences. And yet, in many ways, this is more vital. David Garman is founding dean of the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee School of Freshwater Science, the only school in the U.S. focused solely on freshwater sciences. There are a lot of places in the United States that study, study oceanographic water, but nobody studies freshwater. The study of fresh water is so important because there's a lot we don't understand about these ecological systems, about what has an impact on a lake, and about how people interact with water and can interact with water on a sustainable basis. We really did need this concentrated science developed into national and international research facility. We needed to make an impact and act as a coordinating center, as a global hub for it. Dean Garman is recognized as one of the world's preeminent experts in freshwater science and resource management. I come from Australia. This, if we had this much water, it would be wonderful. <laughs> but that also means that I've got experience in, in managing water and water resources. And if one thing it's taught me is how critical this is going to be going forward. UWM School of Freshwater Science looks to the Great Lakes as a global model for water management and social and industrial impact on water supplies. Well, we think of the Great Lakes as the resource we can use. In fact, about 1% of it is actually renewable. Suddenly, we're down to one hundredth of the actual resource. We then start dividing that up between all the potential uses and actual uses suddenly we're getting down to a smaller and smaller figure. So we need to look at sustainability, responsible use. Sustainable and responsible use of water has a direct impact on life in the water. These students are building drones to monitor radio track sturgeon moving through the water system. And studies involving these tiny zebrafish are used to determine mercury's effects on pregnant women. Studying how people work with water, relate to water, what our water sources are, how we keep these water sources clean has become more important than ever. As water scarcity becomes more prevalent globally, the groundbreaking work of the School of Freshwater Sciences is rising to international prominence. All these things that we do here are, are, are in fact immediately transferable around the world. It's worldwide.